It's your boy Neil Bertilla back with another road video. I'm not gonna make this video too long. I was just listening to a YouTube video by my boy Stephen Darby, RIP. And the reason why I say that because he passed in 2017 and shout out to his family. Um, I was listening to one of his videos, you know, going down memory lane. I'm listening to a video called The Prophecy. So you guys could check that out on the YouTube. And a lot of the stuff that he was saying in that video pertain to what's happening now, especially with the COVID-19, talking about Black Lives Matter and how that people are going to infiltrate that stuff. He was saying that stuff in 2016, 2015, when we all the way in 2020, and I felt like everything he said in that video was prophesied because it's so relevant right now. This is stuff that we exactly experienced. Like when he said Black Lives Matter, will be infiltrated by the LGBT community. Look what happened. We just had George Floyd who was killed not too long ago. Everybody was protesting. He had Black Lives Matter. He had all these other races of people joining Black Lives Matter. And then it got infiltrated. And I feel that the title of this video should be called God Wants Division, Not Unity. And the reason why I choose this as a title is because I know what the scriptures say. This is prophecy. God said, I ain't come to unite. I come to divide. Now, you got to understand why he come to divide. Because he knows his sheep. He said his sheep knows his name. He, he They know the sound of his voice. That's what I meant to say. Right? And a lot of people may say, oh, yeah, they believe in God. But they're not of the spirit of God. They're not in the body of Christ. Their works, their fruits show otherwise. And I feel that God wants division at this moment, especially with the quarantine situation. I felt that he allowed it because it's given us a chance to be separated and apart so that we can understand the functions of our own hearts and understand the functions of other people's hearts. He said, I am a discerner of hearts. So a lot of people, you may say, oh, yeah, they look like us. A lot of you black folks, you know, my black people's. And we like to say, oh, Black Lives Matter, Melanin, you know, we, we gods and kings and queens and all that nosh, nice nonchalant shit. But at the end of the day, it's about spirit. Because I've seen other people from other races treat black people way better than black people treat black people. Not saying there's no racist white cops out here killing black people. We, we're not, not talking about that. I'm talking about... The nature of a person. I think when God's talking about the church, he's not just talking about Israel as far as black people all involved. Because a lot of people who he's saying is our, our skin complexion and our skin color, they don't have the same ideology. They don't see the same way. They don't even worship the same God you worship. But you just want to join, join together in unity with people who don't even worship the same God you worship. He said, I know my sheep. So when a person accepts Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach is their personal Lord and Savior and they have been baptized, they have received that Ruha HaKadosh, which is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. When they receive that Ruha, then they're of God. It doesn't matter their skin color. Because the Hebrew Israelites, if you want to look at it from a spiritual perspective, it's a nation of people coming together to worship God. From all over the world. Right? So it could be black. It could be Spanish. It could be Indian. It could be Chinese. It could be white people. It could be green people. As long as they have the Holy Spirit. And they're worshiping God in spirit and truth. Like what the scripture said. So God wants to divide his people from the world. He said be in the world. But not of the world. A lot of us want to join in these groups and in in organization because we just want to fit in. And God is calling y'all to be set apart. I know the Hebrew Israelites, like black Hebrew Israelites, just to say, oh, the only, the melanated people is going to be saved and the white people is not going to be saved. Then y'all just trying to discredit what the apostle Paul did. A lot of y'all and y'all y'all misinterpreting what the Messiah has been saying and what he's been doing this whole time. Because you have racist in your heart, you have prejudice in your heart. And these are the things that are separating you from the kingdom of God. When he says be separate and set apart, he's saying look at your sin. 
Because it doesn't matter if you're black or white. You're going to hell if you have sin. If you have stains on your garments. If you don't have the Holy Spirit. You're going down there. So when God's saying be divided, set apart. He's trying to get his church together. So when he comes back for a church without spot or wrinkle. We could be raptured up. So those who want to participate in Black Lives Matter. And all these other groups like Me Too and LGBT. But then you want to say you're a Christian. You're lukewarm. You're lukewarm. You have no association with these groups because they are worldly. He said be in the world but not of it. And if you have the world in your heart. Then that means that you have one foot in the door and one foot out of the door. God wants you to have your whole body in it. He wants you to be immersed in the body of Christ. And I feel that God just wanted me to speak this right now because I wasn't going to try to do a video. But I'm back at work. I did a whole fasting yesterday, a self-deliverance session. I was praying from since early this last yesterday morning from 2 o'clock in the morning all the way to 12 o'clock into, into, into midnight. You understand? I was just breaking these soul ties. I was casting out spirits. I was throwing up. And out of this whole situation, I realized the work that you got to put in. I finally realized it. I was like, yo, man, I've been living lukewarm because I want to entertain certain groups. At the same time, I want to walk with God. And, 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 and holiness doesn't mix with unholiness. Unrighteousness doesn't mix with righteousness. He's either you righteous or you're not. And you have to be honest with yourself. And this is why God is saying be separate and set apart. But I don't think a lot of you brothers and sisters understand that. This is an opportunity. This quarantine is an opportunity for you to reflect, get right with God. Stop trying to be in the world and trying to go back out and say, oh, we're going to have a hot girl summer. Y'all want to get in people's entanglements. All that nonsense. Stop it. Real talk. Because all you're going to do is get entangled in more demonic spiritual warfare. And then when God calls his people, then you're going to wonder why you didn't get raptured up. And you can't say I never told you so. So with that being said, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'll catch you brothers and sisters in the next video. Peace.